It's Memorial Day 2024. You can never imagine that you will lose a child. I lost my son October 1st, 2005. He had been to Iraq twice, was stationed at Fort Hood, and died on a motorcycle. Although he didn't die in combat, I still feel he deserves to be honored. He did serve two terms in Iraq. This is my favorite picture of him. This was on his graduation day from basic training. He had had a rocky relationship with my husband at the time, who was his stepfather. So he had spent a few years kind of being down and out, not really knowing where he fit in the world. And this is the first time I saw that smile in a long time. I hadn't seen him smile like that or look like he, he liked himself for a really long time. So this is my favorite picture. Here he is. This is a picture I got from the Army after he died. Uh, this is him in Iraq working on a helicopter, I believe. He worked on... I think he worked on the armament systems for Kiowa helicopters. I'm not sure. I could be wrong about what that is, but that was his his MOS, I guess I you call it. He was part of 1st Cav Division of the Army. This is also from graduation day. He just looked like a totally different person. I sure miss him. This is him when he was a little boy. He was about two or three here. That little boy was so bright and had so much going for him. When he was born, I'll never forget the first time I set eyes on him and we locked eyes. He looked like an old soul. I mean, it was I was looking in the eyes of an old soul. So I really feel that he was here for a short time for a reason. He accomplished what he came here to do. Apparently, I'll never know. I won't know till I meet him again. Whether what that purpose was, but he was two months shy of his twenty-fifth birthday when he died. So this little boy, I'd like to share that. After he died, I went through all my pictures and pulled out every picture I could find of him and put them all over the house so I could always see him. And I found a a writing that he had done when he was in second grade, something I had saved. And the words that popped off, that flew off the page into my head were, my mom bought me a mo motorcycle and when I hit the ramp, I went flying. That's exactly how he died, except I didn't buy the motorcycle. He was going way too fast on a motorcycle, turned to look at his friend on a different motorcycle, and hit the ramp and went flying. He literally crashed and died instantly. So that was pretty profound, I thought. Um, my only regret is the last time I talked to him. I was watching something on TV that I couldn't pause. In 2005, I didn't have the ability to pause what I was watching. And I wasn't really paying very close attention, although he did mention that he had just bought a motorcycle. And I said, well, that's the last thing you know need knowing how accident prone you can be, so terrible words to say. Uh, so I regret that I didn't pay better attention and I was kind of not engaging him much because of some stupid TV show. So my, my advice to you is pay attention to the, your loved ones because you just never know when they can be taken from you. You never know when it will be the last time you're going to talk to them. Don't have regrets. Make sure you know, you, make sure they know that you love them and that you care about them. Because you may never get another chance. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you never have to experience that for yourself.